It is the 8th of the 6th, 2012, and uh, we have a developing nuclear cover-up possibility. Extreme radiation levels in Indiana prompt ET EPA censorship, and a DHS hazmat team has been dispatched. A developing story that is raising concerns over potential nuclear cover-up by the EPA, alarming amounts of radiation reported near the border of Indiana and Michigan, and later censored by the EPA online Geiger tool. Now, Itchy broke this story yesterday. She has a line of videos um, showing this, captured it live screen. I've seen measurements uh, up to 7,000. Again, it might have been a glitch, but uh, apparently things have gone beyond the glitch thing. Uh, a number of community reports have come in on the subject, in fact, with readers of community boards, concerned citizens offering up some interesting and intriguing information regarding the potential radiation cover-up. And uh, one Reddit reader, an eyewitness who reportedly attends a nearby university, shared some concerning information which quickly rose to the top and was later confirmed by accompanying comments. According to the user, a large fleet of hazmat team members and response trucks funded by Homeland Security have been dispatched after years of inactivity. The comment, which has been screen captured for prevention, states, I work at a large public university next to a small research reactor that is located near the back of campus. There's normally a large fleet of response trucks and trailers parked in the nearby lot. Most of them are NIMS, early response vehicles funded by Homeland Security, and it says so right on the trucks. Haven't seen them move once since I started working a few years ago. Tonight, question mark, all gone. Uh, the digital journalism submission, however, prompted it edited much of the shocking details in the original post was wiped away. Then quickly added an edit stating that the measure must have been false due to the fact that there were so high comments. Quickly cited the changes to be inaccurate and bizarre. One comment currently at the top of the page states, I don't buy this the false alarm stuff for one minute. There are independent sources doing their own measuring and coming up with similar results. As the comment mentions, a number of private organizations have recorded the radiation spikes using their own uh, methods to monitor the spike. One such measurement coming from Radiation Network in Fort Wayne recorded a massive increase of radiation as seen on the released image below. And again, this is the one where it was over 7,000 counts per minute. Da -da -da. <laughs> Additional findings, however, which are now censored to the public, confirm the findings once displayed by the Radiation Network. Again, you can view the original numbers in the screen capture showing the results before they were terminated for view, from viewing by the EPA. So they don't want us seeing what's really going on here. Now they have a couple of stories attached to this story. I'm going to attach those as well. Breaking major nuclear base running contamination exercise amid censured radiation spikes. Amid a number of reports of a massive and bizarre radiation readouts coming from experts, eyewitnesses, radiation facilities, and a key choice news outlet, it has now come out that that one of the largest nuclear bases is currently running a nuclear containment exercise. The Minot Air Force Base exercise running a drill in North Dakota reportedly involves the use of B-52 aircraft. The news comes after the developing story across the potential cover-up of a nuclear station stemming from near the border of Indiana and Michigan. So this is where they're saying that those hazmat trucks have gone. Ah, uh, da da da. Readings as high as 7.139 counts per minute CPM over the average between 5 and 6, where there has been no official report to cause a spike. There's been quite a bit of foul play regarding the information put forth by many media outlets. The EPA and even radiation measurement centers, after reading shocked viewers, the EPA quickly censored the ability to view the levels online. Thankfully, the, radi the radiation uh, readings were captured. Screenshot. Measurements were now recorded by a number of sources, though many growing publicly over the event has caused the denial and censorship from not only the EPA but the private organizations as well. The Radiation Network originally released an image showing the outburst in radiation levels stemming from the location 
but later issued a special message on their homepage stating that readings were the result of error. This, of course, is virtually impossible as the readings were confirmed by two entirely different locations. Black Cat and Radiation Network both recorded the levels, measuring that the likelihood of both their system failed at the exact same time and produced the exact same results would be dismal. And the other story they've got going on, nuclear cover-up, explosions, military helicopters film near blackened out radiation zone. Eyewitnesses on the ground near media blackout elevated radiation zone near the border of Indiana and Michigan where radiation levels hundreds of times higher than normal were quickly removed from the public viewing by the EPA are now sending in a large number of photos and videos documenting massive explosions accompanied by unmarked helicopters, A-10 Thunderbolts, and military personnel. These reports come after a Department of Homeland Security hazmat fleet was sent out to the location after years of inactivity. Those on the ground report explosions are loud and deep, sounding like fireworks with a kick. The explosions are oftentimes followed up by a squadron of helicopters or other aircraft, oftentimes black and unmarked. Once uh, one Michigan resident reports the following and is, and is then backed by dozens of organic comments which confirm the findings. And they have, a, they have a video and a bunch of photos of different military activity going on in this area. So uh, definitely heads up, I will attach a link to the radiation network which is censoring. Uh, you can see they don't have that monitor working at the moment. Um, I don't know exactly what's going on. Okay, this video is not to scare you. This video is to let you know that something's up and we need to look into this. Um, may it all be one big fluke. Um, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks. Heads up.